Excuse me. Um, Fridays and Is Zoho marketing automation confusing the hell out of you? Well, you're not alone. There's a ton of people out there who feel the same way. So make sure you tune into these tutorials to make sure that you get your system set up properly at the start. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to create your very first journey. This is going to be really cool, so I'm excited to finally get to this step and show you what it's all about. Anyways, let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, now that we've gotten this far in the marketing automation tool, we can actually start talking about journeys. So I'm really excited about this and I hope you are too. So now that we've logged in, let's go to this journeys tab and learn a little bit more about it. So if we click on this, we can see we have all journeys, journey reports, and journey templates. So if we go to all journeys, so now that we click on this, we see a little graphic over here of kind of just shows us how to do it and a little description of how we can actually build them. So if we click next, we get to go through a bit more details. So we'll just go through this and we'll click create journey. So if we create journey, we can start with a blank, we can look at the pre-built and we can look at any of our saved templates. So let's start with the pre-built templates. So we go over here, we can see if we scroll down, I'm not going to go through all of these and name them all, but there are a literal ton. Okay. So going back up to the top here, we are just going to look at one of these simple follow-up journeys. We'll get to a more complex one and even look at building our own. But in the meantime, let's just use this template so we can learn from it. So if we click on this, we have a little action bar over here. We see that there's triggers, processes, and end of journey actions. So this trigger over here, these triggers are blue and the processes are orange and the end of journey actions are green. So this gives us a little bit of an idea of what's actually happening here. So you can see that on form submission, which is a trigger, we can select a form and have it go into that individual form. So we can see here on form submission, they're going to get an email. So what happens here is we have to select the form that they're going to be using. So this is a Zoho form that we can select. And every time a form is submitted, we can actually send an email. So we can add in content here and we can also set any delay we want with that email. So what's going to happen here is on a form submission, specific form we have to choose yet. What's going to happen is after one day at midnight that this message is going to come out. So this message doesn't have any content yet, so we can add the content if we click on that. But first we have to configure a trigger as it says up here. And then we also have another option over here, which is on list entry. So anytime any lead comes into this specific list that we choose here, this process is gonna follow through again. So we can select the list. We actually wanna to connect to this. So right now we just have test list here. So anytime a new lead comes into this list, we can set it up so that it goes through this process. Now this button here allows us to trigger the journey to existing leads as well. So if we said yes to this, all those leads that are currently in our list are going to go through this journey as well. Now, in this case, we don't really want to do that, but it is something that our leads can go through if we wanted to. So I'm just going to leave this unchecked for now. I'm going to click done. So now that we have a trigger configured successfully, we can go about adding new content here and the end of journey process over here. We don't really have any form set up, so we're just going to leave this blank for now. We can set up any sign up forms, any specific sign up forms, any pop up forms. This allows allows you to select those forms from that lead generation stage, which can also be set up with a Zoho form. So there's a few different integrations here and all these things are starting to interact with one another, as you can probably tell. So in this case, we're just going to leave this one. We don't, we don't even need this one. So we're going to trash it. So we only want on list entry of the test list. Now, if we click this button down here, we can select edit or trash as well. So let's edit it and it goes back to this page. Now that we've gotten that figured out, we can also cut this link. So this doesn't have to be connected to anything. We could actually just connect this over over here and setting it to the journey it won't let us do that though because it needs a process so you cannot have a trigger connect with an end of journey action so if we go back over here let's just select that now we have this delay item here which we can now select so it's after one business day but only on weekdays so we have pacific time over here and we can choose any specific time we want to send it out we're just going to select save actually you know what let's change this to one hour so we want to show this as one hour now we can also select which hours we want this to be sent out in between so this is during a working day for example and only on business days. So let's click save to that. And it looks like there's a potential issue here. So we have this message does not have any content yet. So we need to still add content. So the name for this email is going to be test. We're going to call this a test email and we want the sender's name 
to be Casey Luft, and we recommend you authenticate your domain to improve email deliverability. So this is something you can do, and hopefully you've already done it. And let's also include the recipient's name in the to address. So let's just click next, and then we can go through this and create a template again. In this case, we're just gonna use a pre-designed template, because this is just to show you how to go about this process. Let's click use this template, and we're just gonna click next and continue on through this. So let's click next and save and proceed. So now we have that content now set up. So there's no issues, there shouldn't be any issues, except that message needs to go in for review. So I can easily do that by clicking send for review. The message has now been sent to be reviewed. Now after that, we have this end of journey. So after one hour, this email is gonna go out and then the end of journey will trigger. So this end of journey is after two hours. So it's gonna be delayed after two hours. This email was sent out, it's going to push to the CRM. So we can configure this and select which option we want. So we wanna push both data existing and new leads and contacts to Zoho CRM or push data of only leads and contacts existing in Zoho CRM already. So we could just select one of these. It doesn't really matter at this point. And we want to select a module. Let's just say that. And then the contact email maps to the email, last name to last name, company name to company name. And then we can add more in if we want to. In this case, we don't need to. So let's just click save and done. So now we have this journey complete. This is a full journey, although it is a very, very simple one. So this is just to dip your feet into what a journey can actually do. And over here, we have a ton more options. So instead of an email message, we have SMS, we can set up a email that goes out as a survey, we can A-B test, we can randomly split. I recommend you go through each of these and look at them a bit closer to see what they actually do. If you go on to Zoho's site, they have a bit more information there. We also have reminder loops over here, which is kind of a fun one. So to open, to click, to click a specific link, to complete a survey, and a custom reminder loop that you can set up here as well. So those are the processes. Now, if we were to look at the triggers, we would see that there is a bunch of different triggers here. And we can even go one step further and have an open trigger, which I believe is a webhook that you can actually send in. So anytime anything specific happens, if you want to develop into marketing automation, you can. So there's a ton of customizability here too. Honestly, it's very overwhelming at first, but it'll start to make more sense as you become more familiar with it. So other than the triggers, we have the end of journey actions, which is assign tags, removing tags, add to list, remove from list. We can add in different scores throughout the process as well, update fields and push to CRM. And we can even move them to another journey, which is kind of cool. So we hope this has been helpful. This I know this is a very, very, very brief overview of everything and I went through it quite quickly. So take some time, look at it, understand it, and make sure that you are going to be setting up properly because no one likes to go through a poor customer experience. And so this can have big impact on how your leads and prospects are actually going to interact with your content. So it is very important you get this right and you make sure that everything is looking top notch. So as always, please subscribe down below. We want to get this content out to everyone else who is struggling with marketing automation tool and any other Zoho application out there. So please subscribe and make sure that you comment and like our videos. That allows us to reach a larger audience by engaging with our content. And as always, feel free to join our other social media channels like Facebook and Instagram, where we're always putting out really awesome content and we'd love to engage with you there. So have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.